Today what we're going to talk about is a previously discovered issue by me. Evidently this was an issue for other folks, but because I didn't use an external monitor for this system, uh, didn't really realize that this was a thing. But what it actually is, is whenever you're using an external monitor and the computer is outputting the signal, it is actually using the NVIDIA graphics card, so your discrete graphics card, to send the signal. And what ends up happening is when you revert back to the um, just using your system alone, it doesn't necessarily switch off the GPU. And I hate to say switch it off because it doesn't really do that. But what I mean is it stop, stops utilizing that resource. And I'm going to give you a demonstration so you can kind of understand what I'm talking about before we jump into really how to fix the issue if you've had this problem. So the first thing's first. Right now I've got a video of Peter Gregg uh, playing in the background here. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to jump back and forth, of course, between my screen recording and then also the camera. And by the way, when I do the screen recording, I'm only recording my laptop. I'm not recording the larger screen. If you have questions about the screen, by the way, and you want me to put up a review, I will. I actually just purchased it. It's a Lenovo screen. Um, it's a 32-inch curved 2K screen, and I'm really happy with it so far. I got it for about 90 days just to see if I like it or not, but I digress. So if you look at your ta or my task manager, you'll notice right now the Peter Gregg video is utilizing the integrated graphics card like it should be because it doesn't necessarily need discrete graphics in order to um, basically run this video. It's YouTube, it's streaming a video. Um, the way that I discovered this issue was I had actually unplugged the monitor and I went downstairs to my living room and I was watching a video and I, my battery, I think I was sitting there for like three hours and then all of a sudden my battery just gave me the low battery indicator, which was strange to me uh, because it shouldn't have came on that like soon. And then uh, because I was just watching YouTube, I wasn't gaming, I wasn't doing anything that should have been using the NVIDIA uh, graphics card. So when I first started doing the research, the, actually the first place I started was with the process or the processes that were running. I didn't see anything that was running in the background that would have been drawing the battery. So then I moved on to the performance tab. And then that's where I kind of discovered that, hey, I'm watching YouTube, but instead of it looking like this, where I actually have an integrated graphics card running, I have my NVIDIA graphics card running, just taking up extra, you know, power, you know, draining the battery faster. And that didn't make any sense to me. So, what I kind of realized is whenever I unplugged the monitor, it did not automatically switch back to, you know, the integrated graphics card as needed. Because once again, if you're unplugged and you're running, playing a game, then yes, it should be running with the discrete graphics card. Uh, but did not do that. So I had to fix it. All right. Once I realized that was the issue. And like I said, this may not be an issue that's solely for the Gen 1 or even just for uh, this particular X1 Extreme laptop. It may affect other models, uh, maybe even other manufacturers, but if it does, this is how you fix it. And it's really easy to fix. I'm gonna show you what I did to sort the problem. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm also gonna give you another example of what I mean by this, the NVIDIA graphics card should be, will be using the resources. If I actually take the Peter Gregg video and I drag it to the other screen, now that signal is being output and it's actually being pushed at a higher resolution to the 2K screen. So now that signal that's being outputted from the HDMI can actually be outputted, outputted, can be output up to uh, 4K. So this is pushing a signal, uh, higher resolution to the screen. So it should be you. So that actually makes sense. And once again, when I stop using the screen, I drag it back here. Now you should see this goes to zero, which makes sense. But once again, when it's unplugged, it's not using it either, so should be at zero unless I use a program that actually needs to use the discrete graphics card. Okay, so this is how you fix it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna pause Peter here, and then I'm gonna jump down to, okay, let me close this in the background. All right, so what I'm gonna do is go to the control panel. If you don't know what the control panel is, it is a folder inside of Windows that allows you to maybe look at your system configurations, you can make changes, you can do various other things, but you're looking at all of the components 
that are actually inside of your computer. You know, you're checking their status, drivers, et cetera. There's a bunch of different things in there. I explain that because everybody may not necessarily know what the control panel is. And therefore, if you don't know how to find it, in my case, I'm usually using the control panel, so it's in my recents, but if you don't have it here, all you really have to do is go down here and type control panel. Once you do that, you'll see the, the app pop up and this is the one that you want. And then what it's actually gonna do is it's gonna give you a list of all of the different items that you can actually use inside of the control panel. And what we're gonna actually need to use is the device managers. I mean, like I said, you can configure a myriad of things in here, but once again, we're here for the device managers because what we have to fix resides there. Once you open that up, now you're gonna see all of the devices, you know, all the hardware that's being run, used in your system to include the firmware, uh, as well as a couple of other things. And what you have to look for is going to be under your display adapters. Now, I actually did two things when I sorted this. The very first one, if you haven't done this already, and if it hasn't done it for you automatically, I would highly recommend that you update your driver. Uh, because maybe that's the reason why this was the thing I had to fix once and I didn't have to fix it again. But when I went in here, um, I updated my driver. Actually, no, Windows did an update for me. And, and then whenever the next time I went in here, it just automatically re-enabled like it was supposed to. But in this case, let's say your driver is up to date. If you need to update it, by the way, you just click that. But if it's up to date, the only thing that you need to do is disable the NVIDIA GeForce GTX card. So disable the uh, device. Once you disable device, it doesn't break anything. All it does is it basically tells that driver to stop working. So it's not going to use it for anything. If you try to game on this and that's to disable, guess what? It's not gonna work. Okay, so once you've done that, um, matter of fact, just to prove the point to you, I'm gonna go ahead and dis disable it right now so you can see, it's gonna give you a warning, of course. Uh, so it's restarted and now, <laughs> it's funny, I'm doing a screen recording and when I disable the driver, it stopped my screen recording, dang it. But needless to say, we're gonna press. All right, so now that it's stopped, you'll notice my screen blacked out, right? Because it can't push that signal because it needs that card to push the signal. That makes a lot of sense. How do you fix it? Okay, I really, really hope it doesn't stop my recorder again, but it probably will. But the way that you're going to fix it is now you're going to enable the device. That's actually just going to enable the driver, all right? Stop my recording again, I tell you. But hey, we just gotta roll with the punches. Um, so, I'm gonna restart this. And you can see, the funny thing was, I'm glad I've got this gigantic screen here because my plan initially was to actually just show you the, um, uh, where is it at? My manager, uh, my task manager here. But I don't really necessarily have to because you saw the screen uh, the external screen turn on. And when it turned on, that just means that graphics card is now working again and it's pressing that or pushing that signal out. So here's the deal. Now, if you go back up here, once again, you'll see my NVIDIA. I'm recording the screen again. So you can see that it is working the way that it should. Um, yeah, and it's just that simple. So here's the one caveat to this. The first time I did this, it worked fine. And every time I unplugged it, I had like maybe five or six times I used the monitor and it just automatically enabled and disabled, or I should say to stop using the GPU, didn't use the GPU when it wasn't needed on its own. Only had to do this once. And then probably like two days ago, I found that it was doing it again, um, which was weird to me. So I went in, I did the same thing. I disabled, I re-enabled it. And it has actually been fine since. So just something to be aware of. Uh, I thought about possibly writing a script or something where maybe I could just have like a button. Uh, maybe I'll do it in like Python or I don't know, VB where I can just click it and it'll just automate those steps for me. So any event that it is enabled or I should say any event that there is a problem, I, instead of having to go into the menu, 
the control uh, panel. I could just click the, the icon, the button to do it. But frankly, the control panel is fairly easy to access. So I don't even think that's worth the time or the effort to do because uh, it really isn't that big of a deal. Plus, it's kind of sporadic, right? If it was happening all the time, sure, I would do something like that. But I really have no desire to do that. Uh, yeah. So if you have any questions, concerns, complaints, feel free, leave them down below. I think that's about it. And I guess I'm getting ready to go and edit <laughs> this uh, with all those different cuts um, for the darn screen recorder going on and off. But I'll sort that and hopefully it'll be polished when you see it. Uh, but yeah, feel free to leave your comments down below. Click like, subscribe. Oh, by the way, I'm thinking I'm probably going to do a review of the monitor. I'm just kind of testing it right now just to kind of see if it's something I want. I got 90 days with it. And if I do, then yeah, I'll keep it. Um, so far, I've been pretty happy with it, especially considering what these things run. Um, they're, they're actually pretty affordable. And uh, yeah, I was kind of torn between getting the uh, 2K versus the 4K. I'm kind of happy I went with this versus the 4K. And my daughter and I, we've actually been gaming on it quite a bit. Sometimes in 2K, but this thing can only do so much with Genshin's impact. So sometimes we have to step down to 1080, which is no big deal. But uh, yeah, I'll probably put up a review of that as well. But that's about it for now. Agent Fitz, signing out.